most of us, living means working. So to get the most out of life, men look for a way of making machines do some of their work. Wind was one answer, but it was not always reliable. The efficiency was low. 6% for the average steam engine, 10% for the oil engine, 17% for the gas engine, and 12% for the gasoline engine. Looking at these facts, Rudolf Diesel was certain that it should be possible to build an engine with a very much higher efficiency. He remembered the pneumatic match, or fire piston. A small cylinder, usually made of wood or glass, into which a closely fitting piston or a plunger could be inserted. The head of the piston was recessed so as to hold a piece of dry tinder. When the air in the cylinder was highly compressed, it became so hot as to cause the tinder to ignite. The fire piston gave a clue to a practical means of securing combustion inside the cylinder. Compression, ignition. Diesel adapted this principle to the internal combustion engine and described the cycle for the first time in 1892. The first experimental engine was built at Augsburg in Germany during 1893. By 1894, a completely new and redesigned engine had been built and preparations were complete for the first trial run. In 1997, the first reliable engine had completed its tests. Limitations in engineering methods had made some modifications necessary. Nevertheless, the engine had an efficiency of 27%, far higher than any other engine of the day. By the turn of the century, the diesel engine was in regular production. The first models built under license were large single-cylinder units with a maximum speed of less than 200 revolutions per minute. Manufacturers in various countries made some modifications to the original design, and a few horizontal engines were built. By 1912, the first ocean-going diesel ship had been built.